Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got a fun and fast upgrade for our Tinkercad characters. So let's get cracking. So, friends, I will have a link to this in the description, but what we're doing is going to this right here. You will be able to watch the tutorial. Since I've already built it, I can hit Tinker This. Now, we have customized a lot of characters. We have the celebrating boy. We've got the girl. We've got the girl bending over with the dress. Right now, what I'm going to do is show you how to make more epic shirts. So, I'm going to just do Control-H to hide all these people so they're out of my way. Grab all of these and do control H. And then I just want to mess with this dude's shirt. Get rid of that hand real quick. Get rid of a couple fingers just so they're out of the way. And then watch this. First, I'm going to take you to a site that was shared with me by Mrs. Ross Davis. It is called SVG Repo. I will have a link down below so that you guys can use these as well. It works like this. I want to put a fish on the kid's shirt. So I'm going to type fish. There are 428 vectors to pick from. I'm going to use this one right here. When you click one, it lets you download as an SVG. It's that easy. I'm going to tell you to save it in your downloads. Whatever name it has, you can keep or you can make it fancy. I'm flexible. Once you've got it downloaded, you need to bring it into the project. We're going to do that with import. We're going to choose the file. I'm already in my downloads and we're going to choose that fish file or whatever yours was. We're gonna make it art, and right now it's huge. I know my little people are tiny, so I'm gonna type 20, and it'll resize, and then when we bring it in, we'll be able to play with that awesome little design. Friends, there is our cool little fish. I am going to stand it up, so this way it'll stick on the shirt. I'm gonna pick a fun color, so I'm gonna go with the yellow shirt, and I think a blue fish will be cute. I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift so that it shrinks. So that looks pretty darn nifty. And now I'm going to do Control Up, bring it out, and get it right where I think the little fish should be. I can arrange it. So I'm going to change the angle just a little bit. And then, friends, that's pretty neat, but it sticks out. I have got a magical way for us to trim it so that it actually looks like it's part of the shirt. Here's step one. Put the work plane on the top of that shirt so that you're going to have it lined up right and then bring out a tube now if these are separate like they're supposed to be you can do shift select do a line pick the yellow one and we want to make sure it's aligned middle and middle we want to turn it into a hole so we're going to trim that shape now see right now if we look right down it's not touching the yellow we're just going to change the wall thickness to three. I'm going to slide the side so it's smoother. Three is still not going to cut it, so I'm going to try four. If we look at that, that's getting closer, but it's not quite there. So now we're going to type 4.2 and press enter. This can be different on every single thing you create. Now I'm going to push it down so that we can see even better. Still not touching, so I'm going to try five. That looks like it's snugging up pretty darn good. I'm going to type 5.2 though. That's even closer. You'll notice I brought the work plane back just so that makes more sense. Friends, now we are going to group these. So first I'm going to hide this. I'm going to click on the fish. I'm going to do show all. Notice all the people come back, but I'm just going to hit shift on the tube. So I've got two shapes selected. When I group them, Friends, it makes the fish nice and rounded. Now it's sticking out too far, so what I'm going to do is set it to a 0.1 millimeter nudge. And then I'm just going to nudge this back in until I've got it at the exact spot I want. Put the work plane back on the ground, and oh my gosh, that is crazy cool. Friends, I do want to show you that settings. This is how I brought the grid back from when I had it hidden earlier in the project. Friends, once again, I want to give credit to Mrs. Ross Davis. She and her 7th graders made these awesome characters and got me back on track for the cool mods like adding those sweet logos using SVGs. Friends, if you haven't seen their shoutouts, I'll have links to them up above. Friends, remember, if you do make something awesome, you can always take time to share it with me. It is so easy. Click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad.
If those options are not available, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website, and I have a fantastic page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing categories and lessons. And then also down at the bottom, a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and hit send to reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got over 450 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Lastly, friends, I hope you found this video fun and useful. And if you did, please hit that like button. Please also hit that share button so more people people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.